Acting as a go between members of public who have next to no idea of what we are doing or how we are implementing the assignment for which we were elected. Well, to the glory of God, the new leadership has emerged for the 10th Senate. And all I can assure you, on behalf of my humble self and my dear colleagues, is that we see it as an assignment. And it's an assignment that we take very seriously. And we know that by the grace of God, we will be able to make a difference that will be positive and that will be worth the effort. All of you work with us in ensuring that the two presiding officers emerge in a manner that will not rankle us and in a matter in a manner that was not only democratic but transparent. But of course the emergence of the remaining principal officers of the tenth Senate uh, was not an issue that was meant to be decided on the floor of the Senate. Rather it was an issue which on the one hand as it related to APC needed to be decided among the critical stakeholders of the party. And when I say critical stakeholders, that will include members of the National Working Committee of the party, as well as those already elected into offices in the two arms of government. All the stakeholders came together and they were able to arrive at a conclusion. And that was what led to our emergence uh, this morning. Uh, on the other hand, with respect to the minority parties, again, it wasn't entirely a party affair because it wasn't a typical situation where you have one opposition party. Uh, rather, six political parties were involved and 50 of our colleagues were also involved. So rather than it being a decision to be taken at the Secretariat of Political Parties it was more of a decision taken by members who were elected on the platform of the six minority parties and 38 of them by virtue of their clear signatures took a decision 
as to who their leaders would be. And of course, this was also communicated to their respective political parties. And as Democrats, all the presiding officers could do was to follow suit because uh, more than a simple majority, an overwhelming majority, uh, had decided. It would take 26 signatures to have a simple majority out of 50 um, senators elected on the platform of minority parties. But clearly, 38 of them uh, signed. And uh, uh, again, it was a very clear cut situation. And uh, we thank God that both ways um, it was devoid of rancor. And uh, yes, we had a plenary session because part of the, some of the members of the minority party felt it was important uh, for us to have a, an executive session before announcement would be made regarding the minority leaders. And the presiding officer obliged them. And again, it was a very mature discussion. And it was uh, a discussion that centered around the need for all stakeholders to work together. So it's been a no victor, no vanquish situation. And we are happy that uh, eventually the leadership has emerged for the 10th assembly. What is to be done? For us, the next task basically is to ensure that we hit the ground running uh, so that from tomorrow we're able to take steps that will show to Nigerians and to all of you uh, that we have a clear understanding and a scientific understanding of what is to be done. Uh, and I believe the first task ahead of us is to constitute the special committees uh, of the 10th Senate. Our rules make provision for six uh, special committees. And um, one of them is the selection committee which could not have been constituted without uh, having the principal officers um, who emerged today, and they are the members of the selection committee. And with that being constituted, um, we'll be able to do immediately constitute the remaining five special committees, and uh, thereafter spend the next uh, two weeks working on all the other standing committees of the Senate. So before long, during the month of July, by the grace of God, we should have all the committees, um, special and standing, you know, committees of the 10th Assembly properly constituted so that every senator can get busy, every senator, based on his own professional background, can properly fit into a sector where uh, they can really add value. And then, of course, going further, uh, I also will say that we are ready to address uh, or attend to correspondence from uh, the executive arm of government. And part of what we are going to be doing in the coming days will be, one, to, through a committee of the whole um, house, uh, commence with the confirmation hearing of the service chiefs and um, some other uh, appointees who had been named by Mr. President. And then, of course, uh, we have some other decisions that we need to take uh, regarding um, the steps which the executive arm of government urgently uh, needs to take uh, on the way forward. But suffice to say that as a Senate, by the grace of God, we are set and we are good to go. Thank you.